अबाउट वन इन थ्री वीमेन वर्ल्ड वाइड आर सफरिंग फ्रॉम पी सी ओ डी और पॉलीसिस्टिक ओवेरियन डिसीज वाइल पी सी ओ डी इज मोर कॉमन इन वीमेन पी सी ओ एस और पॉलीसिस्टिक ओवेरियन सिंड्रोम इज लेस कॉमन बोथ पी सी ओ डी एंड पी सी ओ एस आर लीडिंग टू इंक्रीजिंग केसेज ऑफ इनफर्टिलिटी इन वीमेन वर्ल्ड वाइड इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट फाइव साइंटिफिक एविडेंस बेस्ड वेज टू मैनेज पी सी ओ डी और पी सी ओ एस नेचुरली इफ यू आर इंटरेस्टेड कीप वॉचिंग Both PCOD and PCOS are characterized by excessive cysts formation in the ovaries which is usually the result of a hormonal imbalance wherein the female body starts producing the male hormone androgen in excessive amounts all female bodies produce androgen in very small amounts but in case of PCOD and PCOS androgen is produced in larger amounts which manifests itself in the form of mister irregular periods excessive facial or body hair facial acne etc although the term pcod and pcos are used interchangeably pcos is a far more serious condition than pcod pcos is also less commonly seen in women than pcod pcos is sometimes associated with miscarriage and infertility issues PCOS can also lead to chronic metabolic disorders like high blood pressure, diabetes, cardiovascular diseases and obesity. Cases of PCOD and PCOS have massively gone up in India in the last few decades. Yet the exact root cause is not known. Generally PCOD PCOS have been associated with a sedentary lifestyle, unhealthy diet habits, pollution, several over the counter medications and supplements. So how do you know if you have PCOD or PCOS if you experience any of these symptoms like missed or irregular menstrual cycles excessive facial or body hair sudden weight gain especially in the abdominal area thinning of hair sudden oiliness of skin or acne on skin infertility it is always recommended to consult a physician or a specialist and a certain possibilities of PCOD or PCOS it is also advisable to get a doctor's opinion on whether medication is required or not which will depend on the complexity of your diagnosis treatment for PCOD PCOS currently involves medications and hormone therapies having said that it has been shown scientifically that it is completely possible to manage PCOD or PCOS naturally or in combination with medications in this video i am sharing with you five evidence based strategies that have been proven to help with natural management of symptoms related to PCOD and PCOS let's get started the first one is managing or watching your calorie intake There are two main reasons for managing or watching your calorie intake with PCOD PCOS. The first one is that it helps with weight management and weight management is crucial for easing out the symptoms of PCOD and PCOS. The second reason is that calorie management helps with preventing insulin resistance in the body. Now insulin resistance is a condition where the cells in our body stop responding to the blood insulin which results in elevated blood sugar levels and eventually it results in diabetes. So how should you go about managing your calorie intake? If you stop eating or restricting your calories you're also restricting the amount of micronutrients vitamins and minerals that your body gets instead of restricting calories there are three ways by which you can manage your calorie intake the first one is eating at regular intervals long gap between meals results in a dip in our insulin level followed by a sharp spike when we eat this dip and spike in insulin levels results in insulin resistance in the body over a period of time when we eat at regular intervals of 2 to 3 hours we ensure a steady supply of glucose and therefore a steady insulin response in the body the second strategy for managing calorie intake is your meal timing Consistent meal timings helps develop reliable hunger cues in the body and it helps build a system of trust in the body. Our body knows when food is coming and it doesn't need to hold on to the fat stores. Instead, when we skip meals or we eat at different times every day, our body does not really know when to expect food and it holds on to those stubborn fat stores. Consistent meal timings are one of the most unspoken aspects of calorie management and weight management. 
breakfast between 8 to 9 am lunch between 12 to 1 pm dinner between 7 to 8 pm is a good idea and you can schedule two small snacks in between depending on your hunger levels the third strategy for managing your calorie intake is eating more home cooked meals goes without saying that home cooked meals are most of the times more healthier and two to three times lower in calories than food that comes from outside or out of packets home cooked meals are fresher and you know exactly what ingredients have been used to cook them on the other hand when you eat from outside there are inevitably hidden calories in the form of fats oils or sugar that has been used to cook the meal which adds up the amount of calories that you are consuming so eating more home cooked meals is definitely a great way to ensure lower intake of calories the second evidence based method for managing symptoms of pcod and pcos is calcium and vitamin d supplementation a few studies have shown that when female participants that had infertility and other PCOD PCOS symptoms included calcium and vitamin D supplementation in their diet they showed significant improvement in their BMI menstrual abnormalities and other PCOD related symptoms so a calcium and vitamin D supplementation is definitely worth considering the third strategy is chromium supplementation Chromium is a mineral that is known to regulate our blood glucose levels. In case of PCOD PCOS patients, supplementation with chromium in the form of chromium picolinate has shown to help lower blood glucose levels and also lower blood insulin levels. Chromium supplementation has also shown to lower levels of free testosterone in women with PCOS. The fourth evidence-based strategy is exercise. The positive effect of exercise on PCOD PCOS management has been extensively studied. The first benefit it imparts is weight management and therefore improved BMI. The second benefit that exercise, specifically resistance training imparts, is better insulin sensitivity which helps in keeping the blood insulin and therefore the blood glucose levels in check. The third proven benefit of exercise is reduction in level of androgens which are usually elevated in a PCOS patient. So definitely consider making exercise a regular part of your lifestyle if you want to stay away from PCOD PCOS and also to help manage PCOD PCOS better. The fifth and last evidence based strategy is fish oil or omega 3 supplementation. There are a good number of reports showing the benefits of omega 3 and fish oil supplementation in managing insulin resistance in women with PCOD and PCOS. Omega 3 and fish oil have also shown to improve the lipid profile and therefore cholesterol levels in women with PCOS and PCOD thereby preventing any future metabolic complications. So a quick recap of the five evidence based strategy to help you manage PCOD and PCOS naturally. The first one is managing or watching your calorie intake. The second one is considering calcium and vitamin D supplementation. The third one is going for a chromium supplementation. The fourth is exercise and the fifth is a fish oil and omega 3 supplementation. As I mentioned before in many cases a combined approach of medication along with natural strategies might be required to bring your PCOD or PCOS in control therefore don't hesitate to refer to a doctor or a specialist hope these tips were useful for you i'll see you guys in my next video take care until then bye